Well, this Park Hill Church wants to take a step back in time by returning to the Boys and Girls Club that used to be there in the 70s. It is a plan to take back your streets by keeping kids out of trouble and trying to teach them some life skills. Way 3 News reporter Jabina Fortson caught up with the people leading this effort. And Jabina, how are they going to make this happen? Well, Scott, hopefully with the community's help, neighbors and members of the church meet every Wednesday night to develop building plans and work on ways to get the money to do it. Union Missionary Baptist Church doesn't look like much now, but years ago, it was the place to be. Well, this was part of the basketball court right here. It went from back there to this door here. The 100-year-old church used to be the Ormsby Boys Club, then the Boys and Girls Club, where legends like Muhammad Ali would practice. Now, the building is on the heels of a transformation. We can't wait to turn this back into the Boys and Girls Club because it... it, it it's held so many memories. Jean Courtney says the idea came from the city's crime rate and complaints over a lack of extracurricular space for kids in West Louisville. They're getting in guns, they're getting in troubles, and they're getting younger and younger. Dorothy Harris has watched things change right from her porch. <laughs> She's helping to come up with programs for the new club. Computer room and cooking classes and you know, they're gonna have different things in inside of there where the kids can pick up these traits. Plans include a garden across the street. We've got real good sun this afternoon and most of the day, morning and the day, it, it, it should be a very bright spot. The ideas are there, just not the money. But the church and community have faith they'll raise what they need. We are dedicated to this house. So we'll be around a long time. On Saturday, March 18th, Union Missionary Baptist Church is hosting a reunion for the community and everyone that used to attend the Boys and Girls Club. It'll serve as their first major fundraiser, bringing them one step closer to building the club. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jovina Fordson, Wave 3 News.